Hello everybody, Professor Bradbury here to talk about the basic structure of a capstone project. By this point in the program, you have looked at dozens of academic research articles. You've probably only looked at them because the topic was of interest to you and uh, what they found was helpful to you as you did a paper or a project in one of your classes. What I'm going to ask you to do is to access two or three of those academic research articles and look at them through a different lens, from a different perspective. Take a look at those articles that you're familiar with, that you liked, that you thought were interesting or informative, but this time look at them for how did the researcher lay out the actual paper? What was their strategy? What is the structure? What I think you'll find is that your academic articles have five basic components. An introduction, a literature review, the question, the method, the data, an analysis of that data, and then of course, conclusions. These five components of an academic research paper can be visualized such that it looks like, perhaps, an hourglass. Inter in your introduction, you talk about the topic, why you're interested in it, what led you to be interested in this particular question or issue. The introduction section to your capstone paper should culminate in your research question. Maybe not verbatim of how you'll state it later in the paper, but some, give some sense to the reader of what this paper is going to be about and why is it interesting. Once you've done that in the literature review, we can then, excuse me, once you do that in the introduction, we can then transition into the, the literature review, where we talk about what research has already occurred, is already in place, is already known about this topic. As you move through the literature review, your discussion should narrow, where you go from a generalized introduction to the topic to a sense of what your paper, what your project is going to focus on. This culminates in an articulation of your research question, your hypotheses, the methodology you're going to use to investigate those questions and hypotheses, and the data that you're going to use in your study. You then transition into an analysis of that data. What did you find? What did you find that supported the questions and hypotheses that you laid out? What did you find that challenged the questions or hypotheses? What questions remain unclear? Every project has its limitations, so what are those? What might the next researcher want to look into if they were to study a similar topic? And then, of course, your paper culminates with your conclusions. In your conclusion section, you should link your study back to where you started. What did you find? Why is it important? How does your study inform the field of public administration? Hopefully, this visualization and this discussion reduces some of your anxiety as you think about embarking on your capstone project. Know that literally hundreds of MPA students have come before you and successfully navigated the capstone project and its requirements. But you'll still have some anxiety and some concerns as you go through this yourself. So please know that the faculty are here to support you, to direct you, to mentor you, to console you, to help you through this process. So be confident and good luck.